Hello everyone, I hope you are staying home and staying safe and I hope you continue to do the same. So today I'll guide you about how to hold your violin bow. That's basically all the right hand exercises uh, that we require to hold the bow. So before we move on to the bow, let's try it on the pencil first because pencils are way lighter than the bow and you'll be able to uh, do the correct postures. Okay, first of all, I want you to remember the bunny positions like this make a bunny out of your right hand with all your fingers curved the first thing is curve your finger then your two middle fingers like this thumb in between these two middle fingers and then these two fingers make it the ears now you made a bunny out of your right hand okay now you have to do the same on your pencil let's try it so hold the pencil on your left hand and try the bunny shape on the pencil. So first, your bent thumb underneath the pencil. Second, your two fingers like this and thumb in between. Keep the first finger and your pinky finger curved and placed on the top of the pencil like this. So it makes your all fingers curved. And remember, it should always be relaxed. Okay, now before moving on to the bow, you can try a few um, movement exercises on your right hand with your pencil hold. Like um, we wave with the wrist, holding the pencil and maintaining the posture. We did it right now, maintaining the bunny posture like this. We can do the fingering exercises, dropping and pulling it back like this. Okay, so now whenever you are ready and whenever you feel comfortable on the pencil, you can switch it to the bow. Okay, so before we move on to the bow hold, let me remind you a few things about a uh, bow. Do not touch your uh, bow here with your fingers because you have already applied rosin on your bow. And if you touch your bow hair with your hand, and then um, the bow here might not be able to make a smooth sound on your violin and the next thing is do not tighten your bow here too much okay you have the screw here it's tightening and loosening screw here so the right amount of uh, tight here you should make is you can see this is the middle part of my bow and remember the stick the middle part of the stick and middle part of the bow here should be only a finger apart not more than this okay just a finger apart in between these two stick and the bow here that's the right amount of um, bow tightened okay now let's begin hold your uh, bow with your left hand and try to do the same with your right hand as you did it in the pencil before okay so you can see this leather winding here and a frog here so you see a space between these two that's where you keep your bent thumb like this and tip of your thumb make sure you don't insert your thumb too inside okay just the tip of your uh, thumb and then the two fingers like this and then pinky curved and place it on top of the bow like this okay now you can also um, see that we have a octagonal shape in the bow here these are sides eight sides okay so um, you might have a problem of your pinky slipping up slipping off from your bow so you can always use one of these sides here to place your pinky like this on top so this will somehow help you help your pinky not to um, slip off like this okay so that's how you hold your bow okay now you could have held your bow any way you wanted like this or like this any way you wanted but uh, the the position we are doing it now is actually for the flexibility of the bow 
it's actually not holding your bow uh, but this position helps you to guide your bow so your job your right hand job is not actually to hold your bow but to guide your bow so the holding is kind of like done with the violin itself so when you play it on the violin your violin will be holding the bow and you will be just guiding the bow to move it up to make the up and down movement like this okay so when you are holding a bow you might feel it very heavy and uh, very difficult in the beginning but if you feel so if you feel like you are dropping your uh, bow then that's actually the way you hold it you're holding it right okay now the reason we have a bent thumb and bent pinky are because um, it increases the flexibility of our hand so if, if, if your fingers are locked like this all straight and your thumb straight then you might lack flexibility right so for an instance take a human walking if, if, if humans legs are very stiff then he won't be able to walk properly so if his knees are bent and knees are flexible you'll be able to walk very nicely just like that you must have a bent thumb and a bent pinky to have a lot of flexibility in moving your bow like this so I uh, I have seen most of my students having a problem with the pinky finger the curved pinky here so some of you might be doing it like this straightening your pinky because you you feel you're getting it stronger you're getting a stronger grip to your violin bow but that that's not the way you do it so as I told you earlier you have the flat size sides on the um, bow stick so you can always um, use these flat sides to keep your pinky from slipping it off and have a correct bow position okay so um, also make sure that you don't stick out the thumb too much like this just a little bit of it on, on the tip because if you if you stick it inside too much then it will make your thumb straight and that's not what you want you want a bent thumb and a flexible thumb to move the violin bow all right okay now i have few exercises for you to uh, do it on the bow after you are able to hold it like this so the number one exercise is seesaw exercise so seesaw exercise is you put um, your left hand like this and put pressure on the pinky finger and then go back to the left hand again so lift it and take it back lift it take it back okay so this might actually help you to strengthen your pinky because we all know that our weakest finger is pinky finger but you can always strengthen your pinky finger by doing these exercises like i'll show it again just press it with your pinky a little bit hard and then drop it back press it and drop it so it's like this make sure your bow stays parallel to the ground like this okay now you can always do this exercise five times a day and twice a day if you could okay now the next exercise we have is spider crawling so spider crawling exercise is a um, little bit little bit um, of a workout so what you have to do is you have to make your fingers crawl above the bow till the tip and then come back down again to its original position okay so you can do it like this crawling exercise and you have to make sure that your uh, finger position stays the same throughout the bow crawling like this so you don't have to worry if your um, thumb or any uh, pinky finger gets straightened or it's out of position you can always stop put back to the position and continue doing the crawling like this and make sure that you don't wiggle your bow too much try to keep it straight and balanced 
and when you reach to the top like this also make sure your hand position is still the same and then try to crawl, uh, crawl back down okay now crawling back is more of a challenge than crawling it up so it might take you few time to do so but practice makes a man perfect so keep on practicing keep on trying this crawling exercise until you think you are perfect so also remember don't wiggle your bow too much so whenever you feel something's uneasy or you uh, messed up with the position you can always stop correct it and again continue doing the same now the third exercise is the wind seal exercise so I'm trying to do it like this do this windshield exercise so when you are doing this exercise you feel the shift of the pressure from your pinky finger to your index finger and again back from index to pinky so try to realize the pressure shift here that will help you balance your bow okay now the next exercise is um, waterfall exercise so what you can do is you hold it like this curved okay and now the waterfall and then pull it back waterfalls again pull it back and now remember you just do it with the fingers not with your arms not with your elbows just the fingers your arms and your elbows stays the same just do it with the fingers waterfalls and pull up this is for your uh, fingers flexibility and also you'll be able to balance your bow easily all right and then now next exercise will be the train so what you do is you move to this side and then you come back again now here remember it's about elbow and your arm not your fingers so try to make it straight sidewards to the left and to the right try to make it straight also you can do it upward and downward like this. and also you can do it diagonal like as if you are playing violin up down up down okay try to do these exercises i i know that these exercises are very very effective if you do it properly and practice it very slowly you don't need to rush do it slowly and practice more that's how you'll achieve a good bow holding technique I hope you liked it. Please enjoy playing violin. I'll see you next time.